You're looking at live pictures from Boston where actress Felicity Huffman's leaving court after she was sentenced to 14 days for her role in the college admission scandal. Huffman's also being ordered to pay a $30,000 fine due 250 hours of community service. Ron Allen is live outside of that courtroom run. Can you run us through what happened in there today? left. You see all this area now kind of settling down and people going back towards the courthouse. There was a big entourage of maybe oh, a couple dozen people who came out. She was walking straight, looking straight ahead, said nothing, uh, and just uh, disappeared into a big black SUV over here and uh, off into Boston somewhere. Uh, from what I understand, she has uh, about, uh, what is it, six weeks to report to a facility. We believe it's a facility, a minimum security prison camp in California. I'm not quite sure how close it is to where she lives, but the defense requested that. Um, she has, uh, when she was sentenced, from what we understand, she remained composed. She did not cry. Her husband, Macy, did not react. He was also quite stoic, and when she was sentenced, she was staring down. Interestingly, the judge uh, said um, something to the effect that of, uh, you can get on with your life now, uh, you'll get past this, um, but clearly the judge was trying to send a message uh, of 14 days imprisonment. The prosecution wanted a month, and the defense, Huffman's attorneys, had begged for leni pleaded for leniency, saying that essentially nobody was harmed by this, but apparently, but clearly, clearly, the judge did not see it that way. Allison? Yeah, Ron Huffman released a statement. It sounds like she's been uh, incredibly contrite and apologetic, saying that, you know, she's looking forward to her community service and wants to do more beyond that. What else do we know about what she said in there? Well, she was very contrite. She has been since she uh, pleaded guilty to all this. One of the lines that jumped out to me from mm -hmm. her statement was that she said at one point her daughter said to her, I don't recognize you anymore. Who are you? Oh. Uh, and that, she said, Huffman said, yeah. really hurt her deeply because what, what what irony she was trying to help her daughter and her daughter felt betrayed um, so devastating at several points during the sentencing um, the prosecution was essentially lecturing Huffman about how to be a parent saying for example at one point that uh, a parent has a moral compass and can determine what's right and what's wrong and that trying to be a good parent um, is not an excuse for what happened here and this was not a mistake this was a conscious decision that she made and again this this decision the sentence will reverberate across this country because there are as many as 50 more people who have been charged in this case. Half of them have pleaded guilty. About half of them are, were saying that they wanted to go to trial. Um, but I think most people will be stunned that this woman is going to prison, that the judge sentenced her as such. And there are people out there like Lori Loughlin and her husband who are facing many, many, 40 years in jail in her case because their case their, their case involved a payment of about half a million dollars, whereas this was just $15,000 for one test. Yeah, Ron, you also have to wonder what may happen to them. We were talking to Danny uh, Savalas earlier who said, you know, look, Felicity Huffman ran to the court quickly to uh, plead guilty here, and that worked in her favor, whereas the other hand, uh, Lori Lachlan and her husband are just sort of rolling the dice, willing to go to trial, and their fate could be much worse. Yeah, and you have to wonder, how are they going to see this sort of thing? Uh, it could cut many different ways. If, if, For example, if you pleaded guilty and uh, your case is similar to hers, you may feel that this is going to be the sentence that you get, a community service, uh, a couple of weeks in prison. Um, however, you, if you're going to trial, you now see, and what seemed to be happening here, I'm not a lawyer, uh, that the judge seemed to be clearly saying that there was criminality here, and she said, "Now she said I'm going to impose community service, but then she said now I'm going to turn to punishment." So clearly, she felt that there was a need for punishment, and that's where the the, the prison sentence came up. Uh, she was clearly trying to say that. So if other judges in other cases uh, see that, um, clearly that's that's what people who are are charged in this case and who are trying to kind of roll the dice, as you put it, or find it out in court, they they probably are pretty uh, pretty aware that that this could lead to to a jail term.
And yep. again, there are mm -hmm. many, the judge made a point that her case was one of the, the lesser cases. There are many more serious cases out there. There are also students who have been dismissed from several elite universities. There are many more of them who are still going through a process on those campuses, their, their situation in, in limbo. This was, she was, the Huffman was the first parent to be charged, uh, who, to be sentenced. So there are going to be reverberations around the country after what's happened here today in Boston. Right, Ron Allen, awesome. outside the Boston courtroom where Felicity Huffman was just sentenced to 14 days in prison. Thanks so much for your reporting. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.